King and Lady Rocket's Queen, it's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Barry. Thank you very much, and a very cordial welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. On our last program, we found a brand new champion. He won a game, and then our time ran out before we could play against the devil. So let's re-welcome to our program the new champion. Jay? Here he is, Jack. The current champion is a photographer whose hobbies are singing and traveling. It's Mark Gluckman. Hi, Mark. How are you? Okay. You, Jack? All calm down from having won that $500? Well, yeah, I want you to get all geared up for a little more excitement. I'm you know psyched. how it works. Ready. You're going to play against the devil. You're anxious to do it? Ready. Okay, I have lots of money in my hand here, some of which you can take back with you if you're lucky. So come on over and meet the devil. All right. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Up on the wheels now, nothing but money and devils. Every time you spin and avoid the devil, you get the money. Get to $1,000 or more without seeing the devil. Not only will you get the money, but these gifts as a bonus. First of all, you can treat yourself to a perfect summer evening with the Los Angeles Philharmonic at the Hollywood Bowl, the world's most famous outdoor concert theater. Then a complete realistic portable music system with AM, stereo, FM, and stereo tape cassette recorder player for great listening anywhere on batteries or AC from Radio Jack. Also, you'll look great in a tuxedo by After Six, a beautiful lightweight formal for whining, dining, and great times, complete with formal trousers, vest, shirt, and tie. Plus this elegant 15-piece punch bowl set in luxurious silver plate from the designer collection of the fine silver from the Michael C. Pina Company, New York City. And the winter spinet, incomparable beauty with unusually brilliant tone. Soft, low silhouette and hand-rubbed finish. Everybody's favorite, a quality product of the Aeolian Corporation. And this bonus round, Mark, is worth over $3,100 in cash and prizes. Okay, okay give him a spin. Good luck to you. And first spin gets you 75, 25, and 100. That's 100, $200. If you stop now, if you go on and the devil comes up, you lose it all. Got anybody out here to help you? Yeah, I have two friends. Two friends, where are they? Um, hey, friends, get your hands up. Right in the front. Raise your hands. What do you want them to do? Stop or go, gang, huh? I'll go. One, One more time, okay. sure. Risking $200. And he gets 50, 200, 75. Over the halfway mark, you're $525. Now you got to think about this a little bit. Do you want to stop or go? I'm going to go for the piano. I'm going to try for the piano. Okay. Risking 525. You have 25, 50, 75. $675. All well, that cash is yours. The devil comes up, you lose it. What do you want to do? Go on, huh? One more. One more. One more. $675. 225 You got it over the top. $1,100, and here it is. 100, 200, 300, 400. Wonderful. What'd you say? Wonderful, wonderful. 500. I feel like I'm in Las Vegas. Beg your pardon? I feel like I'm in Las Vegas. 700. Six, how much? Two. Let's count it all over again. I don't want to cheat you. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. 800. You should have quit while you're ahead. 900, 1,000, 1,100, and all the gifts oh, and the money you won. Yes, that's terrific. You like it? Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. It's even better than Las Vegas. Yes, better yeah. than working, too. Sure. <laughs> You're now winning $3,700 and oh, more to come yeah. right after these words. Right here. When the feeling comes, say it with body talk. Beat his next opponent, knowing that if he could win four games more in a row, he'd get this bonus gift. It's a brand new car! <laughs> a new Chevy Chevette four-door hatchback. The new rear doors make it easy to get into the back seat where you'll find lots of leg room. The Chevette four-door hatchback has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car. It's furnished by Chevy Chevette. <laughs> That'll go for five games in a row. This is the second game for Mark Gluckman. He'll be playing it against this attractive challenger. We have a law student whose hobbies are traveling and autograph collecting. Say hello to Jill Roberts. Hi, Jill. How are you? Fine, thank 
you, Jack. Where, where are you studying? I just graduated from Western State College of Law in Fullerton, and I'm taking the bar next month. And your husband, I understand, is also studying law? That's right. He just graduated, and we're going to do trial practice together. Well, you're going to be doing a lot of things together, I would assume, huh? That's right. We've been studying together for four years. That's what I meant. What did you think I meant? <laughs> you, uh, you uh, collect autographs? I, I collect autograph books. O autograph books? Yes. What are they? Well, books by the uh, autograph by the author. My, my prize is a William Faulkner. Well, that's certainly a surprise <laughs> to have indeed. I was going to give you my autograph, but... <laughs> I'd love I to have, have it. I beg your pardon? I'd love to have it. You would? Yes. You're the first one ever said that. <laughs> but I didn't write any books. Instead of that, suppose I show you the categories. Here they are. In this game, there'll be fast-forward movies. I'll explain it when we get to it. Fictional heroes, the presidents, fill in the blank, and composers. Challenger goes first. Jill Roberts, that's you. Good luck. Thank you, Jack. For your first thing, you get composers, fill in the blank, and a pair. Let's try fill in the blank for 100. Complete this slogan associated with the Spanish-American War. Remember the... Maine. Yes, for $100. <laughs> Your spin. Good All luck, right. Mark Luckman. You have fictional heroes, composers, and fast-forward movies. Jack, I'll take fast-forward movies for 50. You're aware that now, that you now play every single question for $50. You can play as many as you want, but if at any point you miss, you lose everything you've accumulated. Right. All right, here it is. One of Fred Astaire's leading dancing partners starred with him in the 30s musicals Top Hat and Flying Down to Rio. Name Astaire's dance partner. Ginger Rogers. That's your first $50. <laughs> Want to quit or go on? Go ahead. Second question. Robert Altman directed this 1975 film, which takes an inside look at America's country music capital. Name this offbeat film. Nashville. That's right. You have $100. Stop and go on. Keep going. Who played the title role in the 1951 film version of Arthur Miller's play, The Death of a Salesman? Frederick March. Right, you have $150. Gets a little tougher now. Do you want to go on or not? Go ahead. Going in for another $50. You understand that if you miss this question, you lose everything that you've accumulated. I understand. Robert Redford starred as a barnstorming pilot named Waldo in this adventure film about the early days of aviation. For an additional $50, what was Waldo's last name? Pepper. You have $200. Stop or go. One more. Go ahead. One more. Playing for $250 or back to zero. In the 1964 film My Fair Lady, who played the part of Henry Higgins? Rex Harrison. You now have $250. Oh, right. <clears throat> Want to go for another one or are you stopping? I'll go for another one. One more. Playing for $300 or nothing. This actress was one of the most popular comedians of the 30s and 40s. She starred in 20th Century, My Man Godfrey, and she was married once to Clark Gable. Name her. Myrna Loy. Wrong. Oh. You'll pick up $50 if mm. you can tell me, Jill. Uh, Carol Lombard? That's right. You have $150. And unfortunately, you lose. You lose your $250 and you're right back to zero. But that was a nice streak. You answered five. You missed the sixth one. I'm very sorry, Mark. So you have a... Uh, you, no, your, your score is wrong in front of you, Jill. You now have $150, if my recollection is right. Correct, and now you spin. Thank you, Jack. You have the president, Joker, and a triple. Got to try the president for 200, Jack. Uh, all right. Again, your number is wrong in front of oh, you. I believe sorry. it should be $150. 150, and you're right. playing for 200, which will bring you to $350. Our heaviest president was also the only man in the history of the United States to serve first as president and then as chief justice of the Supreme Court. For $350 in total, name our 27th president. Fillmore? Nope. $200 for you if you can tell me, Mark. William Howard Taft? That's right, for $200. And it's your fifth. Joker, fill in the blank, and fast forward movies. Fast forward movies for 100, Jack. All right, this time you got a bigger amount to play with, $100 for each correct answer. Humphrey Bogart played a crusty old sea captain, and Catherine Hepburn was the girl he loved in this 1951 adventure classic that takes place aboard an old riverboat. For another $100, name the film. The African Queen. You now have $300. <laughs> Want to stop or go ahead? Go ahead. Going ahead, this time you'd go to $400 if you're right, otherwise you'd go back to $200 where you started. Candace Bergen is kidnapped by Sean Connery in this adventure film about the last of the Barbary Corsairs. For $400, name the film. Uh, 
Uh, can't do it. You can pick up $100 if you tell me, Jill. I saw it. I can't remember it. <gasps> Sorry, the wind and the, wind the and lion. The you don't get any of his amount, but he goes back to $200. Score at the moment, $150 to $200, and it's back to you, Jill. Thank you, Jack. Joker, Fast Forward Movies and Composers. Let's try Fast Forward Movies for $100. All right. Now, you have the opportunity to answer as many questions as you want for $100 each. Name the great French actor who portrayed Ingrid Bergman's husband in the 1944 film Gaslight. Chevalier? Nope. $100 for you if you can tell me. Mark. Gaslight, the f uh, French. You said a French uh, and gaslight. Ew. Sorry, okay. I have to tell you it's Charles Boyer. Charles Boyer. And it's your spin. Okay. Joker, fictional hero, fast forward movies. Fast forward movies for 100, Jack. In the 1957 film The Bridge of the River Kwai, name the actor who portrayed Colonel Saito, the Japanese commander. Japanese commander. Ha. Uh, can't do it. You'll pick uh, up $100 if you can tell me, Jill. No idea. Can't do it. Sashu Hayakawa. Score of remains, course. 150 to 200, and we'll be back to finish this interesting game right after these words. Anyway. Mm. Oh, for the champion, but it is Jill's spin. Thank you, Jack. You have a joker. A joker. And Okay, Jill. Under the rules of our game, you pick one category, answer it, and you are the champion. Miss it? The game oh. goes on as before. Which of the five categories do you want to play? I've got to go fictional heroes. For which? Fictional, fictional heroes, heroes, Jack. Uh -huh. For $500 and the championship, the great leader of the Argonauts sailed with his men in quest of the Golden Fleece. Name the leader of the Argonauts. Can't do it. The answer is Jason. I know. Jason. Oh. I know. You miss a golden opportunity, and Mark, you're breathing very hard now, right? Yeah, I want to have my pacemaker charged. Ah, I see. Yeah. Take a spin. You have a joker, and a joker, and a joker. Oh, yeah. We are... The odds against that happening, if indeed it's ever happened in the five years or so history of the Joker's Wild, well, I don't personally recall it ever happening that the Joker came up this way, three Jokers, ever back to back. So the odds against it must be astronomical. You must be a very lucky man, Mark. We'll, well see my... how lucky in just a minute. Which category do you want to play? That's what my name means. What? Lucky man. Lucky man? Yeah. Movies. Movies. Okay. For $500 and the championship, this would bring you up to $4,200 in cash and prizes. Actor Dustin Hoffman and Laurence Olivier starred in this 1976 film about an ex-Nazi's plot to smuggle diamonds out of New York City. For $4,200, name the film. Uh, blank. How do you like that? that. Both of them missed the chance to win. The Marathon Man. Marathon Man. Oh! William Goldman. <laughs> well, maybe you're not the luckiest man in the world. The game goes on, 150 to 200, in what may be one of the dizziest games we've ever played on this show. Your spin, Jill Roberts. Thank you, Jack. Oh. Fictional heroes, a pair, and composers. Let's try fictional heroes for 100. After fighting a duel with each of the three musketeers, this high-tempered young man becomes their closest friend. What was his name? No idea. Okay. $100, you can tell me, Mark. D'Artagnan. That's correct, and you go to $300. And it's your spin. <laughs> President, composer, and a joker. Uh, the president's for 100, Jack. Although Woodrow Wilson was born in Virginia, he served as governor of another state before he became our 28th president. For $400 in total, name that state. Ohio. Nope. $100 if you can tell me, Jill. New York? Nope. New Jersey. Oh. New Jersey. Okay. Your spin, Jill Roberts. Okay. Joker. Fast forward movies and a triple. I definitely go for fast forward movies for 200. All right. Each correct answer will be worth $200. All you need is to answer two of them, and you'll be over the $500 mark. But remember, 
Mark gets a final turn, so you play this as far and as long as you wish. In the 1962 John Ford Western, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, actor Lee Marvin portrayed Valance. For $200, who portrayed the man who shot him? Can't do it. You can win the game with $500 in this game, plus the $3,700, you'll be winning $4,200. Who portrayed the man who shot him? James Stewart. Wrong. Oh. Wrong. John Wayne. Oh. John Wayne. You thought you had that one, didn't you, Mark? I thought it was a lock. You thought it was a lock. Well, it turned out to be a lock. Uh, but it's your spin. Fill in the blank, composer and a joker. Fill in the blank for 100, Jack. Complete the title. This game may never get over. <laughs> Complete the title of this Tennessee Williams play, The Glass Blank. Menagerie. Right, you have $400. Score 150 to 400. Your spin, Jill. Thank you, Jack. Fast forward movies, Joker and Composers. Let's go, Composers, for 100, Jack. I figured you were going to uh -huh. change your mind. The first Russian composer to gain international fame wrote such works as The Nutcracker Suite and the 1812 Overture. What is his last name? Tchaikovsky. That's correct. And you have $250. Your spin. Mark. Joker, fictional heroes, and a triple. Jack, I'll take fictional heroes for 100 All right, you can do that. Correct answer would bring you to $500, and again, you'd be winning $4,200. Here's the question. This hero's real name was the Earl of Huntington. Now he's smiling again. That's, that's how you one. smiled last time when this you gave me James Stewart, the wrong I answer. I think I have this one. You think you have this one? Yes, okay. This hero's real name was the Earl of Huntington. When his lands were confiscated by the Normans, he turned outlaw and fled to Sherwood Forest. How old was he approximately when he died? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Nasty, nasty. For $500 and a grand total of $4,200, name this fictional hero. Robin Hood. You're right this time. Congratulations, Mark Fluxman. In one of the longest games on record, you have now won it. You win $4,200 in cash and prizes, and in a more, you'll get a chance to spin against the devil. Well, Jill, you may not have won, but you played in one of the most unusual games we've I ever held had. the longest time, I'm sure. Mm. And backstage will be a lovely consolation prize. Well, Let's you, say Jack. goodbye to Jill Roberts. Thank and you. we'll be back against the devil, congratulating after this. Well, here he comes. That was a game. What a fight. That's indeed. Up on the wheels now, money, money and devils. Avoid the devil and get to $1,000 or more. Not only will you get the money, but these gifts is a bonus. Mark will start with the Yashica 20XL, the most advanced low-light sound movie camera with zoom lens and fully automatic exposure control. You'll enjoy great sound movies at home every time. And the library of Bantam Books, including the Book of Lists, an incredible collection of stimulating facts assembled by the authors of the People's Almanac. Books to read for fun, furnished by Bantam. Also from IDI, a 40-channel CD with digital all-in-one remote control microphone, automatic scanning, scanning hideaway transceiver, plus external speaker and antenna from Inland Dynatronics. Plus, we'll fly you to Curacao in the Netherlands and Philly. It's the largest and most populated island of the Netherlands and Philly, located in the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Venezuela. Enjoy this romantic island with its ideal climate, beautiful sunsets, breathtaking coastline, and mountain views. Have a ball at the Curacao Hilton, a charming hotel with a magnificent sandy beach and a beautiful octagonal casino. Truly the star of the Caribbean, the Curacao Hilton, a Hilton International Hotel. And Mark, this bonus round is worth over $3,100 in cash and prizes. Okay. You gotta stay away from the devil to get that trip in the spin. Okay. And for your first spin, you have 100, 125, and 150. Now you have 275 You want to quit or do you want to go? Go ahead. Well, oh, look at a young lady out there. That's a lady. Oh, yes, it is. All right. She wants to go to Okay, let's see if you do go. You have 50, 50, and that's it. Go Everybody knows who watches the Joker's Wild. A natural triple takes you automatically to $1,000. Let me give you the money. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 
600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 dollars. Plus the CB radio, the movie camera with sound, the books, the trip to Curacao, the money you've won. All told, you are now winning in cash and prizes. $7,300. I love it. Oh, two ghosts. Wonderful. Not only that, that's two games under your belt. Three more games to win you a car. Want to come back to the next program? Oh, I think I'll... I think you will, too. He was in a big game, an exciting game. He came out of it, and he's really been rewarded for it. And we hope all of you will be watching to find out whether this young man can win the five games. Game number three coming up on our next program. Until then, Jack Barry for The Joker's Wild saying thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>